Hi and welcome to this educational video. So today I'm going to explain what ROCCE is. R-O-C-E. You calculate return on capital employed, R-O-C-E, with a simple equation. And that equation is the profit from the investment divided by the capital that you've invested into that, uh, into that property investment. Take that number, multiply it by 100, and that gives you your percentage ROCE. How you employ that, depending on your property strategy, depends on whether you're doing a flip, or whether you're looking for an uplift in the value of the property, or whether you're doing um, uh, a buy and hold, and so you're looking at the rental income that you, you uh, generate from that property. The money that you've put into the property, now it's very important that you are um, very clear, very concise, and you include everything. So you're looking at the solicitor's fees, the survey and su surveys and searches that you've done, any planning costs that have gone into that property, the refurb amount, the selling costs, the deposit, and anything else that you've contributed towards that property because it's very important that you want this number to be very specific, to be very accurate. Perhaps you're looking for an investor, you want the numbers to be accurate so that they build up a level of trust in you, or perhaps you're putting this, these numbers across to a funding house because you want funding. Exactly the same thing, you want them to trust you. So let's use an example of a house where the, the current value is at £100,000, the agreed sale price is £70,000, the refurb is going to cost £35,000 and the GDV, the end value once that refurb is done, is going to be £160,000. That's going to be the example that we use for me to show you how to calculate the Rocky. So the profit from the investment, that first part of the equation, how do we calculate the profit from the investment? You take that end sale price, which we're going to take the GDV of £160,000, and you minus all of, the, all of the costs and all of the commitments that you have you have to pay before you get to your profit. So you take that end sale price, you take off the bridge that you've, the bridge or any loan that you've taken for the property, take off your deposit, take off the solicitor's fees, the surveys, the searches, the refurb, the selling costs, all costs. So in this case, for this property, we, take, we took that 160,000 pounds to start off with. We've taken off all the costs and we're left with 51,700 pounds. That £51,700 is our profit. Now the capital employed. How do we calculate the capital employed, the cost of the investment? So the cost of the investment will be everything that you've put into it. So the deposit, the solicitor's fees, the surveys and searches, the refurb, the selling costs, all the same figures that you've used for the previous one, but you're just grouping them together. You're not, you're not taking them away from anything. You're just grouping them together. You're working out all of the money that you've spent on that investment. And in this case, it's £38,300. Putting those two numbers into the equation, what does that look like? So it's £51,700 divided by £38,300. Now that gives us a number of 1.3498. So what we do now is we take that number, we multiply it by 100, and that gives us 135, I've rounded up a little bit, 135% return on capital employed. So we've put £38,300 into the deal, we've got £38,300 back out of the deal, and then we've got an additional 35% on top of that. I hope that helps. That's how you calculate return on capital employed. There are some other videos for return on investment and for yield. If you want to know a little bit more about, about how to use uh, finances to calculate property investment, go and have a look at those videos as well.